Hey guys, Astro Techno Buffalo here, checking out iOS 7, the Gold Master Seed. So one of the first things we want to cover is the folder behavior. Uh, if you haven't seen iOS 7, um, now you have these sort of animations that kind of come up, uh, which is you know pretty nice. It's a little, it's smooth. It's not too bad. Um, when you touch the home button, if you're in an app, uh, let's say you're in Yelp, uh, you will actually end up going back out to that folder and then tapping the home button again brings you back out. We have uh, what's new, Control Center is new. So now you have these quick access buttons, also a brightness toggle, uh, your iTunes playlist, if you're playing anything on iTunes or even in Songza, RDO, things like that. Of course, AirDrop is new, AirPlay has been there. Uh, and then quick toggles for flashlight, you got your clock, you can jump into your alarm or a timer, stopwatch, calculator, and your camera. So um, some quick access tools there, a much better setup and layout than iOS 6, in my opinion. Uh, if we double tap the home button, you can see the multitasking is new. Uh, you can check out all the different things that you've been doing, uh, apps that you've been in, and if you would like to get rid of any of them, you can swipe right up and, oops, sorry, you can swipe right up and it'll go away. Uh, so let's get back out of there. And let's check out uh, search. So search now no longer on the side of the phone. Uh, we've gone over some of this in our original iOS 7 tour, but just wanted to recap just in case you forgot about it. So now search is up there and uh, you can search your whole iPhone for anything that you've been looking for. And of course your notification shade comes right down, um, comes right down from the top of your screen and you don't have to worry about, uh, about having to like swipe over to other screens, things like that. Um, so pretty basic stuff. Uh, most of the things that we've kind of come to know and love in iOS, uh, are still here in iOS 7, just slightly modified. Uh, of course, one of the things that is different is uh, your photo album. So they're now doing collections. So if we open up our collections, you can see uh, I have Monday through today, and then my trip to Berlin uh, is here. But if I wanted to look back on anywhere in particular, I was taking pictures. Uh, you can see you've got all these great little icons, and you can go all the way back to years. So here's uh, my, my last few uh, years using iOS. When the Gold Master Seed came out, they actually unleashed a whole bunch of different wallpapers on us. Uh, so let's check out the different wallpapers, shall we? So now uh, in your stills, there are some new pictures here. These are, these are kind of new. There's some colorful stuff happening. And then of course your gradients, uh, different pictures in nature, which Apple always likes to have. Um, I, I'm pretty fond of that. Uh, it's very brightly colored, matches the outside of my phone. Um, if I wanted to look at the dynamic ones, uh, before there only used to be two. There used to be uh, this one right here, this blue, and this sort of uh, gray down here. And now they have ones to match the iPhone 5C. So if you wanted to have these sort of dynamic wallpapers, and wow, that is extremely bright and yellow, uh, you could do that if you wanted to. And you can see, of course, these actually move based on your, uh, your movement. So if you wanted to uh, just check out those, it's kind of fun. Um, I prefer still wallpapers. So let's check out some of the ringtones and alert tones that have been added in this Gold Master. Uh, if we, let's just check out ringtones. Uh, actually, they've moved all of the classic ringtones into its own folder. So if you ever wanted to go back, you can. You can get those old school iPhone ringtones, like your old tiny phone and things like that. But now uh, we've got some new stuff starting right there. So here's very kind of news-like. <laughs> so a lot of new a lot of new ringtones you can uh, I'm sure you guys will have fun going through those there's also new alerts uh, as well so if we wanted to check out some of those that's what they sound like again they have a classic folder so you can access anything that you might want or that you're used to from your previous build of iOS. But new stuff uh, in here, which is like kind of fun. I always like looking at all the new ways to customize your phone, which is always cool. And as Android lovers know, it's always fun to customize your phone. So, um, so let's check out some more stuff. One of the things that is very interesting is when the beta came out uh, in Safari in your options, you had, you, you had the option of using Keychain, which is, Apple's sort of new kind of 
password, LastPass, 1Password, Password Manager, uh, that's actually not here anymore. You can't use that. However, when you go to change your passcode for your device, it actually tells you, uh, do you want to change your passcode for Keychain? So it's definitely still there in the architecture, but it's not present in the front, uh, you know, in what you're seeing on the user interface. Well, now on to some things that I was surprised did not get changed. Uh, one of the things is there's a couple of apps that are native first-party apps for Apple, like iBooks, that were not changed. I mean, these are, this is the same skeuomorphic design that we've seen before. Really shocked that they did not change this. Uh, almost makes me wonder if they're working on a larger change for iBooks and the newsstand in general. And in case you were wondering, one of the nice things, uh, speaking of newsstand, is yes, you can in fact throw it into a folder now. So if you've ever wanted to get rid of that newsstand, now you can. Uh, if you want to look at music, of course, here is your uh, very lovely iTunes uh, music interface. Here's iTunes radio, you can start listening. Of course, that's available to you. Uh, your genius playlists, your regular playlists, and of course your albums. So here's the new keyboard. This is the iOS 7 keyboard, which is a little flatter. It's a little bit different. Um, obviously, something that uh, is not too different from the previous version, but definitely uh, a design change. So we're looking at this in Safari. So they have changed it for their native apps, but it looks like it's up to the developer to implement because if you go into something like Google+, Plus, it's actually gonna end up being the regular keyboard. So here it is. So that's the old iOS 6 keyboard. So it's definitely gonna be up to the app developer. I know a lot of uh, talk has been on the internet about having to buy apps that have been previously purchased because of the new 64-bit architecture and am I gonna have to purchase a new version of the app, uh, that remains to be seen. It's likely that some apps will do that. It's likely that some apps will not do that. So hopefully it won't be too many, uh, but that is a really brief tour of the things that are a little bit different and some things that, like I said, have not changed uh, since the beginning of the beta, which were surprising to me, like Find My Friends and uh, the iBooks, the iBooks design. Uh, but that's it for iOS 7, a gold master seed. If you guys are picking this up next week, if you're buying a new iPhone, let me know in the comments. If you are tired of hearing about iOS 7, also let us know in the comments. That's it for iOS 7, gold master seed, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys. What's up, everyone? John here. Thank you for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, I certainly hope you did. Click on the subscribe button right under me in my pants region to get tons more tech videos from Techno Buffalo. We've got awesome unboxings, comparisons, reviews, recaps, and everything else you can think of in the tech world right here on the channel. Join the herd today! If you want to check out some more content, just click right over this way to see some other recent videos. See you guys next time.